respected dear family members my pranams to you <coughs> in the last class which i was delivering the message on our foods and a different type of food component i am sure that you are getting a little bit idea on the cholesterol and pesticides insecticides sprayed for protecting the fruits the vegetables and so on i explained how to remove all these poisonous materials at least to, to some extent these procedures will be helpful for us to protect ourselves from the pesticides and insecticides used for protecting the vegetables remember that cholesterol is completely ab absent in any vegetable products roots stems leaves flowers buds fruits and seeds they are devoid of cholesterol they may contain phytosterols phytosterols are good for our health absolutely fantastic for our health whereas cholesterol is not a dangerous to our health our body produces nearly 1 gram of cholesterol 1000 mg of cholesterol for internal usage for internal usage for the production of hdl ldl for the membrane production and also for the prostaglandin production for the hormonal production these this cholesterol is inevitably important but overdose of cholesterol either produced by the body in the normal condition or overdose production caused due to high tension and high level of worries and fear in the mind or overdose of cholesterol input through non vegetarian food that may create problem if the body is not subjected to systematic work work i mean exercise exercise either walking or doing some manual work the cholesterol the fatty acid everything will get depleted and utilized if the body performs energy utilizing work cholesterol is not a poison at all and remember that cholesterol will not be deposited as such <clears throat> generally it will link with the fatty acid to form esters and the cholesterol forms the ester with saturated fatty acid that ester will be having low density 1 1 ml hdl 1 cc ldl may be having 0.98 0.95 g per cc that is low density when the cholesterol gets converted into an ester using unsaturated fatty acid like linoleic acid linoleic acid and acidonic acid and so on the density will be something like 1.04 1.08 or even 1.1 so comparatively density is more that is what is known as high density lipoprotein hdl high density lipoprotein will never get deposited anywhere because it is a liquid in nature low density lipoprotein is generally solid in nature it can get deposited in the walls of the blood vessels so the diameter of the blood vessels will be reduced automatically so blood pumping pressure will be increased and that will create strain for the heart then heart problem comes bp problem comes 
blood circulation based problems also will come brain hemorrhage and so on so remember that cholesterol is not creating the problem we are creating the problem through cholesterol by not doing any work by not doing any exercise we can do yoga we can do morning walking at least for 1 km or 2 km or instead of sitting in the same chair in the office just a walking here and there at least 5 minutes during lunch period evening morning this we can do it is not the food which is causing the problem it we are creating the problem through the food when a pond containing water remains stagnant automatically the water will become obnoxious and dirty same thing happens in our body also intake fat if it is not utilized it will deposit somewhere it will not go out because it is lipophilic and it will not dissolve in water once the fat is absorbed there is no other alternative except decompose it by oxidation by working by doing the work so many people many of the doctors who has learned there they are subject through the textbook written by the western scholars the western scholars western scientists and western doctors and the western medical curriculum focus on the western lifestyle not indian lifestyle in the west meat is the staple food in the east in india meat may be there as a small part and vegetarian food is the maximum consumed morning noon and evening so whatever is taught in the west it cannot be copied in india dangerous so always remember that clean vegetables excellent avoiding non vegetarian for uh, preventing the intake of saturated fat in overdose preventing intake of over protein meat can be avoided should be avoided and majority animals which are killed for the meat the dirty environment the most cruel way of butchering and majority of the animals they are the carriers of different types of disease different types of disease germs because they are nurtured through completely the waste of the food items so they eat all the grass and hay filled with pesticides and insecticides directly or indirectly so these pesticides will be accumulated in the body of this cow or other animal slaughtered for meat their biomagnification takes place if the cow is alive for 20 years all the pesticides and deleterious materials consumed by the by that animal through the fodder that will be present in the adipose tissue in the liver in the blood vessels and in different part of the animal body that directly goes into the stomach of the meat eater as simple as that there you can see the pesticides present in the vegetables partly we can remove through different methods explained by me but the pesticides present in the meat cannot be removed it is dissolved in the fat which is present in the meat it cannot be removed at all adhered to the meat no cleaning no washing will work there because it is lipophilic and it is dissolved in the fat so meat is the most dangerous thing as far as kerala is concerned and wherever people eat overdose meat good quality meat are not produced in india almost all the common man's meat 
preserve is from the already sick animals working till the last day of its existence in the paddy field or wheat field and finally carried to the slaughterhouse. And uh, remember that cholesterol is not the one which is creating problem. It is the deposition of over cholesterol created in the body or coming from the food which remain unutilized because of the idleness of the individual. When the individual does not do some work, these all these problems will be coming. So remember that when the doctor gives you the information that your triglyceride is more, instead of eating the tablet, if you do hard work, if you walk, Cholesterol content will be reduced, triglyceride will be reduced, lower density lipoprotein will be reduced and high density lipoprotein can be produced by eating highly unsaturated fatty acid like gingerly oil. Gingerly oil is also known as sesame oil. And uh, soybean oil, sunflower oil, co cotton seed oil, rice bran oil, these are all excellent for our body. In required quantity, remember that when I say excellent does not mean that when you have to eat as much as possible. No. Maximum total fat intake can come to 50 to 60 gram. But generally in Kerala and India, the fat consumption is around 20-22 gram per day. We need more fat which will be available from even ordinary simple vegetables oil seeds. If peanut is the best one, nutrition bomb. Soybean oil is very good. It is reasonably very cheap. Rice bran oil is excellent after refining. Cotton seed oil is excellent after refining. So, simple methods are there. But unfortunately, the medical laboratory wants to make the money and they will be giving part of that money income as commission for the doctors. So, the doctors get money from the laboratory. So, they survive each other by supporting each other with your money, informing you that your cholesterol content is more. So, you have to take, you have to eat sufficient tablet for reducing the cholesterol. So, the tablet making company gives commission to the doctor. Laboratory gives commission to the doctor. And the doctor automatically gets the consultancy fee. So, the highly benefited category of people are doctors under your health expenses. I am not telling that all the doctors are like that. But very recently, even in Kerala, Indian Medical Association strongly warned the majority of the doctors who are taking commission for different type of laboratory test. So, my request to you Eat good food, avoid meat and you can take milk, milk products and eat any food under controlled condition. You should not leave, you should not leave for eating but eating is needed for living. Living for eating, eating for living. You should be living not for eating, but eating should be for your living. Does not mean that you should not take good food. Take good food, tasty food, but required quantity and a controlled way. This is applicable for anything. Whether you drink water, whether you drink coffee, whether you drink something like good soft drinks, Control should be there. Control should be there even for your traveling. Control should be there in talking. Control should be there in your work. Control should be there in the management. Everything should be controlled. Like that, overdose of food will create problem. Overdose of cholesterol will create problem. Overdose of Vegetables also will create problem. So, 
ಅತಿ ಸರ್ವತ್ರ ವರ್ಜಯೇತ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಈಟ್ ಓವರ್ ಡೋಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ಈಟ್ ಲೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಬಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಲಿಟಿ ಗುಡ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಬಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ಪುಟ್ ಇಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಹಾರ್ಡ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಮ್ಯಾನುವಲ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ಥ್ಯಾಂಕ್ ಯು ವೆರಿ